yeah. On the road, ay, ay. Riding with the top down, yeah. I'm with my shorty, she gon' die. Alright, what is going on, family? Top of the morning. Finally getting this day started, and today is January 29th, so that means we only have two more days left before I start this prep. I don't think I've told on the channel yet that February 1st is the first day of prep, but I mean, now you guys know. So last few days, I've kind of been like intuitively eating. I've still been training hard, but um, haven't really been tracking my macros that hard. I haven't been looking to like really put on a lot of weight, obviously with like a couple of days left. Most of that would probably be fat. So still been training hard, just eating as much as I can and kind of enjoying all the foods that I know I won't be able to enjoy when I finally start this prep. So um, I'm going to keep doing that today. I'm thinking a protocol for the first two weeks will probably be going to a 100 to 200 calorie deficit. So it won't be anything too insane. I don't think too much will really change the first few weeks. Obviously, I'm starting this prep really far out. I think the show is July 26th. I put that up on the screen. I'll have to fact check that. But I think it's July 26th. So obviously, I'm starting prep really early. But I do know people who are doing the mayhem too. And they've already started prep. So got to get on it. Can't get left behind. I want to make sure that I'm ready early. If I need to do a diet break, then I'll do a diet break. But I need to be ready early so that I come in with the best physique possible. But anyway, a lot going on today. I don't really know where the vlog is going to go, but I'm starving. So I need to get some breakfast first. I was going to ask when you were going to vlog again, Sean. Looks like you're already on it. This one is Snickerdoodle cookie butter. You ate the double chocolate caramel one already. Yep. So that was the one you had. This one is chocolate peppermint bark. What's the calories on those? Um, this one's walnut Nutella. This one's nine... 119 calories. Oh crap. Do you think you can do two of those in one sitting? Probably. They're so easy to eat. Yeah. That's okay. what I thought. I thought it was fairly easy. It I think is. you could do at least one and a half, because you know? If you think about it, one Krispy Kreme glaze, original glaze donut, two something? 190. Think about how many you'd have to eat to equate to one of those. I like, know, yeah. think about like a whole slice of cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. It's like, like, this is like almost on that level. Like, that's crazy to me. So, I was talking to Steph about this cheat day and, well not cheat day, but 10K challenge. We're talking about like how to go about this and then she just kind of starts throwing all this knowledge at me. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, I have not prepared for this. There is some planning that has to go into what I'm gonna eat so that I'm successful. Those cookies that you guys just saw, those could possibly be a key for me. I feel like I can eat two in one sitting. So that might be an easy like 1500-ish calories, maybe more. And you don't have to eat them both in one sitting. You can eat one and then eat one later and yeah. separate it. So that's a boost. I know for a fact for that's sure. a boost right there. Obviously, it's not going to be exact, but I'll kind of want to roughly plan out how I'm going to get the 10K calories. I'm trying to find a good day to do it before prep. Like I told you guys, prep starts at first. So try to find a good day to do that so that I don't have to push it back till after prep. You Hopefully. can just do another one after prep. You can do a cheat day and not a 10K challenge. I, could, I have to do a cheat day after yeah, prep because it's going to be day. like, it's going to be painful. 10K is not as fun as cheat day. So do the yeah. cheat day after your prep. We'll figure out a day. And if not, obviously that will happen because I know when I'm finished prepping, I'm going to want a bunch of Chick-fil-A, a bunch of everything. So mm -hmm. I don't even want to think about that right now. I don't want to think about that deficit life. Quick behind the scene, show you guys. This is the studio room setup that we've been recording Techni Tuesdays in. So right now I'm actually using the 6500 with a roll mic, lap mic on there. Steph picked up these crazy new lights. They're a lot better than our softbox lights that we have in Kelowna. This is to diffuse the light. I know that kind of looks really unprofessional, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we don't have a diffuser on that. So we use like pillowcases to diffuse the light, but this setup is actually super prime. I'm using the 6500 because this thing actually just crapped out on me. Try to stay like really positive, but I'm super pissed off that my A7R3's audio jack, I guess it failed on me. People say that it comes from like wear and tear. Obviously, if you're like taking a mic in and out of it every day, then something's gonna wear and tear, but I'm just sad that it did happen because I've seen it happen to other people and I kind of jinx myself saying that. You know, yeah. that doesn't happen. But, <laughs> <laughs> so it did happen to mine and I'm very sad about that, but I'm gonna send it off when I leave Florida cause we're gonna be using it for a little while and I don't wanna be like out of a real camera for a while. So probably send this off in like the next two weeks to get it fixed at Sony. I have no idea how long that's gonna take or how much it's gonna cost, but I mean, this camera is super goddamn expensive. So <laughs> whatever it takes obviously won't be more than the camera's price. So it'll be worth it. And um, 
yeah, I already miss using this thing, so kind of sad, but yeah, we, we'll, we'll get it fixed. Well, I am finally about to go to the gym. I'm gonna do a voiceover, and then the voiceover, I'm actually gonna go over how I'm gonna be doing things slightly different when it comes to these videos in the future with like prep and all these things like that. So, gonna go get a pre-workout meal, a little bit of pre-workout, and then we'll go ahead to the gym. All right, so the workout that you guys are currently seeing is a heavy push day. It's a super high volume workout that is focusing on delts, which is why we hit delts first. Like I've told you guys in previous videos, delts is actually my weak point right now. During this entire bulk, I've been trying to balance that out by hitting arms less and hitting delts more. Prep will start on February 1st, but I've decided to start the actual prep series 16 weeks out from the California Muscle Mayhem. I'm just doing that because I feel like over 20 weeks of prep series type videos will get a little old. and me starting the series 16 weeks out will feel like a new beginning i'll change up the format of videos i'll get a little intro for the series and it'll be overall just a different format of content to get myself and get you guys hyped for these competition videos but with that being said i will be starting the cut in two days i'm going to be trying to switch up my training throughout these next couple of weeks that means that the content will probably get a little more informative obviously i won't be turning the channel into a science back like informational channel but with the new intensity techniques and different things i'll be doing with my training i feel like it'll be dope to just kind of like fill you in and just overall explain everything that I'm doing in a way that's pretty easy to understand for everyone. Going to try and learn as much as possible over these next couple of weeks, over this entire prep. So I feel like it's going to be really cool to incorporate that knowledge into these videos. You guys can be expecting a little bit of longer format videos up from the five to eight minute videos, maybe to like the 10 to 12 minute videos. I'm just going to start adding a little more into them. I need to get some sleep before I sleep. I actually need to plan out the entire day for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm filming a 10K challenge. Steph is actually going to help guide me. Jeff is going to help film. It's going to be dope. I'm actually really excited to eat everything that I have planned. It is getting super late. I need to get some sleep for that. I'm going to end the video right here. If you're new, join the crew. Subscribe to the channel. Leave this video a like before you leave. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.